guys, this is from Sunny Ray and Creations, and I got a request to do basically an offset text in Photoshop. So today, that's what we're going to be doing. It doing. Um, that's actually my preferred way to do an offset. I feel like it's just super quick and easy, especially if I'm using Cricut. The only time I don't use it is if I'm using the my Cameo, my Silhouette Cameo machine, because if I do that, I just do it right in the software because that's easy as well but if i'm going to be doing a cut file on my cricut machine um i design everything in photoshop so what you're going to do is you're going to come down and you're going to open photoshop you are going to create a new file make it the size you want uh i think we can leave it like that create new i always do mine also in 300 pixels um basically 300 dpi it just makes it a nice qual um, quality and it won't make anything blurry you won't get the rough edges so that's what I do and then I'm gonna go to create and boom now we have our template I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys okay so once you open up Photoshop um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here select the text tool type your text out I'm gonna just do my name Sherelle so make that bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing just like this and over here is where I have all my character things so I could change the color of my font if I want so I think I'll change it to like a pink color because oh, why not pink is cute so yes we'll do like a nice pink a moth pink color like this if you guys do not see this in your Photoshop, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Windows here. You're going to drop down and make sure you select character. And then it should probably, it might not pop up right here. It might pop up over here. And then what you'll do, you'll just take it and you'll drag it over here. And that way it will stay here. But alrighty. So once you have this, what you're going to do is you're going to, the background, we need to delete that because we want a PNG image. So I, the eyeball, we're going to click that. And then we're going to file, we're going to save as, and we could do, change it to a PNG, and then I'm going to do Sherelle. I'm going to save, okay, and then, okay, so now what we're going to do, now we need to add the outline to our name. So you could go here, you could do it two ways, you could double click this, that's the easiest way for me. Or you could come down here where it says FX. You could click that, go to blended options, and it'll bring up the same screen. So what we need to go do here is we need to go to the one that says stroke. So we're going to check that and then make sure we have it highlighted. This is going to be our settings. Now here you could change the color of your stroke. It doesn't really matter if you're doing like a cut file. Um because you'll just be cutting the layers into whatever color you want but so that will leave a black but if you're doing a print and cut you want to make sure you have your text and your outline of color you're going to be printing it out so mine i will leave black then right here you want to make sure it is on the outside and the blend mode is going to be normal opacity 100 percent. now this is how you could change how thick you want your outline so i'm gonna hit okay and you will save this as i'm gonna do a png again and then i'm gonna do my name too okay so now we have those saves we can exit out of photoshop and now i'm gonna go into my cricut design space and show you guys okay so once you open cricut design space Design space, you're going to go to new project. And then you're going to go to upload. Upload, browse, and you're going to find your names. Basically, the tutorial is over. I'm just showing you guys how to use it, how it looks. Save. And then we're going to upload the other one. Browse. We're going to do Sherelle 2. Continue. And we're going to do save as a cut image. And you're going to select these two. Insert images. 
and now we have our name and two things. So this will change the color to again the pink. This we're gonna take, send to the back, and boom. Now you have your outline. And like I said, you could use this method to either have to double layer your vinyl or you could do a knockout text. Um I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have recommendations for any type of other videos you would like, whether it's cricket related, silhouette related, um, either fo even Photoshop tips, I am more likely to help. I also be doing more DIYs. I know I want to do more keychains and badge reels and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.